Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're doing a diverse world three minute time limit and it looks like we're on the left hand side of the road. Which is leading me to think South Africa and now that we see this, probably not South Africa. Maybe. Um, I don't really know this language. Now, I could make a general assumption um, that it's hieroglyphs and it's, you know, nonsense. Um, I don't know. That doesn't ring any bells. But um, the way the geography feels, it definitely feels African. Now, I'm pretty sure the majority of the country south of the Sahara drive on the left-hand side of the road. I don't know if that's for sure or anything like that but either that's the South American colors right but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that uh, the super line definitely on the left hand side of the road uh, Kaluwank yeah that's not gonna help us Malur that's also not gonna help us um, I mean we could theoretically guess India because um, I know India has a few left-hand side of the road. Well, they're, they are left-hand side of the road. But this is going to be a tough one. It's definitely going to be a harder location than I would have probably wanted. We do have some people on the side of the road up here. I don't want to be an asshole, but that definitely seems like an African country to me. Now, we do have a bunch of signs of a language we don't understand or read there was the English alphabet where it was kind of like what it would look like English come on oh god they passed us they fucking passed us oh no they were about to pass us whatever uh, we do have a sign coming up we do have a water tower we got 20 seconds we don't really have the time but we do find a village Fuck me. Alright, um... I'm gonna just make a guess. I gotta make a guess. We're gonna be in, uh... Uh... We're gonna be in the Congo. Or Sri Lanka. Alright, did not see that one coming. That's 147 points. Why are we always getting Sri Lanka now? Seriously. Uh, this time we are on the right-hand side of the road. This definitely reminds me of someplace tropical we got this over here which is completely rusted away but it's in meters metros um, so we could be in a Spanish nation we do have a yellow divider line so Brazil is definitely up there on our list of where we could possibly be we just need a few more signs to really solidify that uh, where we are 180 kilometers away Guatarolaca so that might be Guata about Guatemala. So we're 180 kilometers out of Guatemala. Now I don't know if that's actually what that said, but that's what we're gonna use uh, for our reference. 100 meters, that could be a website. We won't be able to read it though, and it looks like it's a burger. So I'm pretty sure hamburgers were invented in Germany, adopted by the Americans. And now it's like a global thing and it's considered American food even though the Germans invented it. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. That's why it's called Hamburgs. Uh, hamburgers from Hamburg, Germany. God damn it, this truck's gonna block it. Nol Maltra Las Sanales. Yeah, that's in Spanish. Um, so I guess anywhere south, it's probably South America. Gosh, kilometers, pata, galana, biohandle. I'm pretty sure it could be theoretically Mexico. Um, we do have a bunch of mountains, and whenever we seem to get South America, Brazil seems to be a good guess. I don't know if it's because Brazil is a lot larger than the rest of the country. The, uh, yeah, the country's over there, or what, but we usually seem to be good when we guess Brazil. However, I have a feeling it's not going to be Brazil this time. It seems a little too much. I don't know if it's 
the the trees where we are obviously we've had uh locations where it's been more trees and brazil is known for the amazon rainforest we only got 30 seconds we haven't really found much hopefully this last sign rancho mary yeah it's not going to um i'm gonna guess colombia it's gonna be brazil but it makes sense to me or it's guatemala so we we knew that it was 180 kilometers to guatemala so i figured it was the city the the country itself not the city so that's 1683 points that's again not very good we got some snow at least this time around um but that's about it looks like it's desolate this way however we do see the line over here uh, so we gotta be someplace cold so we're either northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere we're not in between the uh tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn so those are definitely at off limits we got some dead trees so it's got to be winter which is because of you know our axis that car looks reminds me of what i would see in russia so russia is definitely high up on our list right now however we got nothing else to go on we got a car that i would typically associate with russia doesn't necessarily mean the car is from russia but i would typically associate it with a russian gangster that's that's our fucking that's our go right now i uh, can't read that love it love it uh we got some houses no signs not really even graffiti um got a tractor does the tractor have anything funky on it does not we got some water over here. no that's not water oh that's a house uh so it's a little town somewhere potentially in russia that's all we got that's really i don't we're getting some tough locations recently and i don't know if you guys are just really good or if you're going different ways and finding different clues than i am but god damn these locations have been tough we haven't really gotten anything to go off of the most we have so far is cars they have satellite tv like makes sense for russian to me i hope it does to you now watch it not even be anywhere near russia that would be that would be just the icing on the cake god yeah we're not really we're not even getting like street signs like there's not even like a the, you're on this road congratulations come on people show support for the country that you so dearly love nothing all right um yeah we got 40 seconds we literally found jack shit. We're in a little town. I'm gonna go Russia. Uh, we're gonna go in Sam Samara, and we're in Bulgaria. Would have never known. Didn't find any fucking clues. And now we're in the fucking jungles of Bumblefuck nowhere. Yeah, we're. You guys won this one by a long shot. By a fucking long shot. I was doing so well too, man. Like I was doing so great. And then we got two locations, well, two two things back to back, which were pretty fucking difficult. And I know, I know that's no excuse, but you guys are fucking too good at this game. Fuck everything. Uh, we're probably gonna be in the jungle somewhere. God, I hope we're in the jungle somewhere. Uh, windy roads. We got some mountains. It's pretty green. That's that's our hint. Um, hopefully we find like a street sign or an actual like welcome to this country sign which would be wonderful right about now um, however I'm thinking probably somewhere in South America I don't know why but that's just how I'm feeling today um, probably around the Colombia Colombia area um, potentially between Colombia and Peru I imagine that's where the Andes Mountains would make it look kind of how it does right now. We got some people just chilling on the side of the road. Definitely look like Peru. I don't know if that's like a good judge of character though. Like I don't know the best way to go about that. Do we just have something, a random cart chilling in the middle of the road? Whatever, to each their own, to each their fucking own. Uh, but windy path, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, yeah, let's go. The, the trifecta, shall we? 
And we're in Bhutan. I'm just gonna take that one point and uh, pretend this, this round never happened. Um, so I will definitely not be checking the score on this. You guys can beat me in one location. In one fucking location, you guys can beat me. That's that's pretty fucking bad. I don't know, man. Like I don't know if it's I'm I'm doing really shitty, or if it's just like a tough location, or if there it's a tough round. Like we're we're getting no hints. We're getting we're getting nothing. We're not even getting fucking street signs. I think we're just getting a really shitty location, and that's that's honest opinion. You guys might think differently. I think this is just shit. I think this is the first street sign we've seen all the time, and it's omnibus point five. So kilometers, um, I guess we're going down this road because Google and can we go this way? We can. All right. What does this say in here? Uh, Esquel Mechanica, something about electricity. It seems like it's potentially Spanish. So we'll, we'll keep that in mind. It looks like it's like a cobblestone path. So we're definitely not in like a, a very wealthy area. This guy's got like an actual lawn. This guy clearly doesn't. He doesn't even have a fucking roof over his house. Um, we're not going to get much from this location either. We, we can ascertain that it's in Spanish. And that's about it. That's really about it. Yo, bro, what the fuck? What? What? Why are you? That's, that's like a fighting stance, man. Um, yeah. Now, I mean, at this point, we lost. La Academia, that's the Argentinian flag. So at least we found a flag. Uh, Racing Academy. All right. Well, we suck. We did terrible. I'm going to go for Santa Fe because why the fuck not? Uh, 3,177 points. So, is that Argentina? It's on the border. Just on the border? Yeah, just on the border of Argentina. But you guys can definitely beat me in two rounds. We only scored 6,509 points. Now, let me know in the comments below, honestly. Honestly, if it was a tough location, tough round, where the five locations were a little more difficult than what you would normally expect, or if I'm just not doing well if I just went the wrong way if I just had bad luck honestly please let me know in the comments because if I'm if I'm honestly getting like tough locations I can understand it but if I fucked up and I went the wrong way like then it's on me like then that's the bad luck if I'm just being stupid then th I gotta change something so please let me know in the comments below but I do hope you all enjoyed it's gonna give you guys a nice sense of uh, crushing me by probably like 15,000 points but I do hope to see you all next time. Have a good rest of your day. And bye-bye.